video options, overlays and shaders. With different monitors and different preferences, you may wish to change the video options. Let's check these right now. In the RetroArch menu, hit left a few times and go to the settings, and then video. Go down to scaling. The first option we'll look at is integer scaling. With this on, we can have pixel perfect graphics without distortion. But with this option on, it's very difficult to fill the full screen. Sometimes we might be able to look it out by using this overscale option. The pixels look great, but it may slightly slow down our emulation. Another option you may want to use is bilinear filtering. This slightly blurs out the edges, but if you're not using integer scaling, it may cover up off-size pixels. You may be using a 4-3 monitor, which means you'll need the full screen stretched. By changing the aspect mode to full, you can do that. If the screen seems to be the wrong size, you can try any of these options. I usually have aspect ratio to set by core, which lets the emulator decide. Next thing we'll look at are display overlays. This is essentially an image thrown on top of our emulation window. They're split into two sections, borders and effects. Let's have a look at them now. We've included four sets here. After selecting the Amiga one, it gives us a nice bezel. We can use the video options to increase the screen size. I'll fill out the black bits to the side of the screen. There are many to play around with here. Give them a go. We even have a folder full of monitors and TVs. Did you listen to Two Unlimited and Ace of Base? They were one step beyond. Ba ba ba. Those in the effects section work as a mask on the whole screen, which is ideal for a low resource scanline or LCD filter. It does seem quite dark, but we can brighten this up by using our overlay opacity. A value of around 30 is pretty good. One thing we should mention is that all of these overlays are very light on resources. Once you're done with these settings, we can save it per system. So manage core options, and then save content directory options. The more advanced version of overlays are the shaders. These are essentially multiple layers of overlay. In comparison to regular overlays, these can be quite resource intensive. We have removed all that don't work, or if they're too heavy for the system. From CRT emulation, scan lines, smooth filtering, as well as Technicolor. There are plenty for you to mess with. Go play. I taught Sue everything he knows. Watch how he handles his stick. <laughs>